everybody crazed here yet again with another video on a drift and this is kind of a little bit of a different gameplay here but i just wanted to share this to you this is not exactly what i would call great gameplay you're not going to see mlg calling me up anytime soon but uh, this video actually really demonstrates something i wanted to share with you guys um, and this is extremely frustrating now have you ever 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 got into a match and you and your team are really trying hard you you got a lot going on you're doing your best and you don't seem to be getting anywhere it's it's a tough match and it's pretty even more or less on on everything but all of a sudden just all of a sudden uh it becomes impossible you're getting swarmed you're getting swamped uh, it's just like everything you do or nothing you do uh, even matters because it is that hard and difficult. And then you look. And then you look. You take a look at your uh, online screen or your roster here. And next thing you know, you are down players. You are down one, two, three players or even more. You know, however, whatever the case the game is, you are down players and that makes the game absolutely impossible and that actually happens the other way around as well as like you're on there you're fighting hard and next thing you know uh the game all of a sudden becomes super easy and you're just like why is this so easy all of a sudden and you finally you take a look and <laughs> you see the other team's roster has lost players just like constantly lost players and it's just so rough and, and as you can see right here my team we are down three players so it is two on five so this is absolutely crazy but that brought me up uh, a situation or some thoughts on how we can fix this how can we at least maybe not fix it but make it manageable so one of the things uh, that uh, like I said this problem has been around for a long time been around since every since Halo or multiplayer has been around, people have quit out because it was too tough of a match or uh, for whatever reason, get disconnected, have to take out the garbage, whatever the case is. They ended up having to quit. So your teammate is down. So what's going to happen? Well, they've had tried some fixes in the past. Uh, and I'm going to focus on Halo more or less because that's what I like to play. Um, so what happened? Like I said, Halo 3, I think that's when it really became an issue. Uh, for a lot of things and what they did was they implemented a ban like a temporary ban uh, if you quit too many times you ended up getting banned from matchmaking for what, 10 15 minutes whatever the case was uh, I, I can't remember because I was actually never banned in Halo 3 um, I have been hit banned in Halo 4 but more or less due to disconnections than anything uh, Yes, my internet was terrible, and kind of still is. Not great, but it's actually better than it used to be. But So they tried that, and still, when you get into a game like One Flag on, uh, what was it, Zanzibar, or whatever it was called. I think it was, I think it, no, they didn't call it Zanzibar. For the love of Pete, I can't remember the name of the map, but you know which map, the one of the big windmill, um, the Halo 3 version. Um, and you play that, and the next thing you know, you're playing, and once uh, your defensive side takes uh, no time at all when you're playing defense because they just walk all over you because they just outnumber you, period. And then you switch over, and you just absolutely cannot even get close to the flag because, they, again, they outnumber you. So it just made for a rough, rough game. But did it work? Did the banning work? Uh, I'm going to say no. No, I don't think it did. Not effectively. It may have discouraged a little bit. And I still support that um, to some extent. I think it's probably really should be done uh, if it happens excessively. Now, on to the next thing, though. What else did they try? Well, Halo 4 tried Join in Progress. And did that work? Well, especially not at the beginning. It did not work at all. When you play Join in Progress, uh, you you is very typical to join a match in the last seconds and just end up making no no progress or no anything. Or you join, you're just completely overwhelmed. The the score was just unrecoverable uh, at that point. So Join in Progress did not work either. Um, 
it was a temporary thing. It, it kind of helped somewhat, and they did make adjustments, and it made it better. But was it good, especially in uh, ranked gameplay? No. No, it was actually probably a very terrible thing, especially in ranked gameplay. So, what else could we possibly do? Well, I had this thought. Now, have you ever played a MOBA, which is a multiplayer online battle arena? Now, which I'm sure you guys have known, but there's several, several MOBAs out there. Now, the one I've played in particular was the Star... not StarCraft, but the... Uh, Oh, man, I'm just saying, I can't think of the names right now. But the Blizzard version with all the Blizzard characters. And I cannot think of names. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyways, the point is, is that when you die, you actually end up gaining uh, respawn time. You, know, you lose respawn time. Whatever the case you want to say. So if you died and what happens is, is that your first time is like two or three seconds and you respawn. The second time is like five seconds. The third time is like 10 seconds, whatever the case was. I'm just kind of throwing numbers out there. But the point is that it took longer to respawn, which means you, your team was at a little bit of a disadvantage. Now, why can't we use something similar to that in a Halo game? Especially like social stuff. Like if you lose players, like you say on my team right here, I'm down three players. And which makes this a pretty rough match, but but look at that. See, I can't even get a power weapon because they're just on it like immediately, and I have no chance. And me and my partner, which I give props to because he stayed with me, <laughs> we're just going from one uh, battle to the next, and we just can't even get time to recover. But however, what if every time or every player that was down? Like I said, this play, uh, this team, we're down three players. And that would cause the other team to... <laughs> I completely lost him. To, for every player down, they get a two-second respawn penalty. I mean, it's not a penalty. It's just, it just helps to even the odds a little bit. Like every two seconds. So instead of three seconds respawn, they get a five second. And for this case of being down three players, they get their three second respawn plus the six seconds for the fact that we're down three players. I think, honestly, it kind of would be a little frustrating to have the longer spawn times. However, for games like this, where it's just completely unfair, completely unbalanced, it might give us that opportunity to really put up a fight and at least give it a try, at least. So I'm just throwing that out there. I think it's a good idea. I think it needs to be brought up to 343, at least as a suggestion, something to throw out there, throw on the table, um, just so they can think about it and see, you know, just at least, you know, kick it around the old noggin, see what they get there, you know? It might work, it might not work. But I think it's a good idea. Now you see there, they actually have a team play or a player quit so instead of the six second uh, respawn time, they would have the four second, you know, uh, extra time. So like I said, the, the general respawn time, say it's three seconds, and now there would be seven seconds instead. So I think honestly, it would help the uh, even it out when this does happen. And of course, do penalize those that do quit on a fairly regular basis but that doesn't help the people that are actually in the game and I think this would actually be beneficial well anyways I kinda wanna hear your guys' thoughts on this go ahead and leave comments down below don't forget to leave a like and share it share it with 343 at least you know at least so they can have the idea on the table and so they can think about it because I think it's a, at least something worth uh, contemplating um, <laughs> Remember, Halo 6, we don't have any information as yet, and it'd be nice to see something like that, or at least something to help us poor players that stick to the end. And I do give props out to my buddy here, which <laughs> he didn't get do very well, and I didn't either, but it was fun. Thanks again, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here.
comment, like, and subscribe.